In 2003, this guy created a dating site as a side project, and in 2015 he sold it for $575 million. He kept all the money because he never raised a single cent. This is the sickest bootstrap story you've ever heard of. Meet Marcus Frind, the founder of Plenty of Fish, a dating website that gets 20 million visits per month. It has over 150 million registered users and adds 65K new users every day. He grew the website to 15 million users and was generating $10 million in revenue in 2008 before he hired his first employee. Until 2008, he was working only an average of 10 hours a week. By 2014, POF was making $100 million every year. How did a simple website become so hugely successful? In 2003, Marcus was working at a Vancouver-based tech firm. He feared getting fired from his job, so he decided to bolster his qualifications. He decided to master ASP.NET, Microsoft's new website building tool by building a difficult website in just a few weeks. And he stumbled upon a great idea. He was frustrated with the online dating sites available at the time, like Match.com, and wanted to create a better platform that was simple and user-friendly. And he was on. In the next few weeks, Friend built a basic dating site and named it Plenty of Fish in just a few hours a night. It was incredibly simple, just a plain text list of personals, but it was unique in one key aspect. It was completely free. As of then, no big dating company was free. Previously, while many free dating startups had struggled to compete with paid competitors like Lavaleaf, Friend's solution was radical. Instead of competing with Match.com, comma, he created a low-cost site for users not ready to pay. This served an underserved market and gave paid sites a place to advertise with their huge budgets. From March to November 2003, POF expanded from 40 members to 10,000. He used his home computer as a web server and tried to game Google with forum tricks. When Google introduced AdSense, he made just $5 in his first month. But by year-end, he was making over $3,300 a month by selling ads to paid dating sites interested in his unpaid members. And he quit his job in early 2004. By 2006, Plenty of Fish was a top five dating site in the US and the top site in Canada, serving 200 million pages each month. Friend was raking in $10,000 a day through AdSense. To prove that he was indeed making that much money, Friend posted a picture of a Google check of POF worth $800,000, which was just two-month revenue. This implied his site was making $4.8 million slash year. Some people called the picture fake, and some said it was a promotional stunt. Whatever it was, it worked. The buzz drove new users to the site, and POF's growth skyrocketed, hitting 1 billion page views per month by 2007. Five things that differentiated POF from other dating websites won. Pricing Strategy POF was completely free for users, unlike many other dating websites. This made POF more accessible to a broader audience and helped to attract more users. 2. User Feedback Frind listened to user feedback and made changes based on their suggestions. When users requested a Meet Me feature, he added it. This feature lets users quickly show their interest in meeting someone in person. 3. SEO Optimization Friend knew search engines were crucial for dating sites, so he optimized POF's content and keywords to rank high in CRPs. This helped to drive more traffic to the site and attract more users. 4. Automation Friend kept POF lean by automating many aspects of its operation. He used automated systems to process registrations, send confirmation emails, and handle customer support inquiries. This kept overhead costs low. Friend set up his company so that he has to spend a maximum of 20 hours even on the busiest days. I get everything done in the first hour of the day, he said. Then he reconsidered and said, actually, in the first 10 or 15 minutes. On July 14, 2015, Match Group, owner of Match.com, Ocupid, Tinder, and Hinge, bought plenty of fish for $575 million. Today, Marcus runs a winery and a billion-dollar investment company that manages real estate, public market equities, and private equity. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like this video.